hospital seat. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Well, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. We have got another beautiful day here in West Tennessee. Oh, not even sure what all we're gonna get into today. Actually, first thing, as Sadie is sitting here attentive, we'll let the chickens out and yeah, we actually, um, you know, about a month or so ago, we bought a bunch of new baby chicks. We moved them down here, put them in the coop with the big chickens. Thankfully, they've been getting along. This will be the first day we've let the, the babies out to free range. Let's see if they actually are gonna come out or not. They're thinking about it. We're gonna walk down here and feed these steers and we'll check on them. Sadie, you leave them alone. Sadie, come on. Sadie, leave them alone. So yes, our time with the feeder steers is really coming to an end. We've got, today's Wednesday. The first three go on Monday. Um, then a week later and a week later we go from nine to zero over the course of two weeks. So, which is good in a way because I underestimated how much corn we needed the last time we got the, the gravity wagon filled. And I don't think we're gonna quite make it. Close, very close. Um, close enough that I think we're probably just gonna buy a few bags of corn. We gotta run into town today anyway. We're not out. But I, so we're feeding nine right now. In four days, it'll be six. In a week and a half, it'll be three, and then another week, it'll be zero. So our, our consumption's gonna start to drop precipitously. But anyway, we're gonna get some buckets filled up. Looks like, yeah, they cleaned everything up last night. We'll carry some corn over there and get them fed. A few more days of corn in there but I, I kind of was doing the math in my head with how much we knew was in there how much we're feeding per head per day and I think we get about 20 bags which is what only about I guess that's a thousand pounds it makes more sense uh, you hate to buy it by the bag it's a lot more expensive but by the time uh, the hassle of getting the, the gravity wagon and all out of here and I'm pretty sure my, my uncle my dad they they cleaned out their bins, hauled all the last they had. And we've got several neighbors right around that have corn in bins. We could go get a little bit to only need, you know, you know, just a, you know, a few bushels like that. It's really not even worth the hassle. So next year we'll, we'll, we'll know. And every time we go get this thing filled up, we're just gonna get it filled up. If we've got a little extra corn. You know, after the steers are gone, so be it. We can feed that to, um, kind of blend it in with our other feed just to get rid of it to the cows on pasture. Morning, fellas. Them snorting and, you know, seeing that condensation just coming out of their mouths, steaming. So, yeah, it's just a little cool. You know, we had, we had such a mild end of the winter, um, really in early spring. At least that's what it looked like. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like in some spots we've got some patchy frost this morning, but yeah. Not not quite, you know, the midst of spring yet. 
Hey, little babies. We'll see if they're brave enough to venture out of there at some point today. Um, if not, that's perfectly fine, but I want to open it up, let the, let the big ladies get out. Okay, so got a few little tags. Hope you're watching our daily, the, the shorts videos we're doing on the cabin, kind of give you more up, you know, to the minute, up to the moment access to that but yeah we tagged one yesterday afternoon and so needed a few more tags so got those but uh yeah also i ask y'all to do a few things of course hit the thumbs up subscribe if you have it we also were using a new uh microphone system you can see that clipped on my jacket there my ag gear jacket i'll ask you to go check them out later on use that discount code hurricane 15 percent off but is the audio better than usual um I know like sometimes when I'm behind the camera, you know, you, you can't hear me as good or maybe I'm turning my head or whatever. So I'm hoping this helps. I hope y'all can notice the difference. Um, if not, I may have just wasted 150 bucks. But anyway, we're gonna ride back here and check on. See if we got any more new babies overnight. We got about three cows that look like they could go anytime now. And if it goes like usual, they'll probably all three calve on the same day. And then we'll go a week without having another calf. Feast or famine. Yep. Definitely a little frosty out here in the creek bottoms this morning, um, as you can probably appreciate. So, I don't know. I don't know if that'll be our last frost of the year um, or the spring or not, but most of the cows have done made it way across the creek. We uh, we just opened up the gate there to allow them to do that last night, so they should be happily grazing in uh, some fresh grass. We'll see if we got any new calves. So number 101 right there is walking away from us. She is close, you see, she's made a nice bag. Got a little swelling there in her rear end. Um, black one there. Yeah, she's not really bagging up too much yet. She is yet to calve, but I don't think she's gonna be the next one. But our one heifer that still has not calved it's kind of lighter colored tiger stripe, number 215. Um, yeah, I've really thought she was going to be the next one for a while. And apparently she just likes proving me wrong. So anyway, 006. Yeah, you can say the same about a bunch of these. Yeah, she looks like it could be any time now. Um, Volva swollen, made a bag, but anyway. All right, well, I do want to go find that one cow that calved yesterday or the night before. Be sure they're in good shape. She has not moved that calf into this pasture yet. Um, I'm sure just because she doesn't want to cross the creek with her, but we'll go put eyes on them and be sure all is well with them. Well, there's the newest mom. I don't see the baby, but Assume she's got it hidden over here somewhere. This is about where they were last night after we got the calf tag. So we'll see. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? We got a few little tricks we can use. There's three other cows that have decided they're going to stay in this pasture as well. They're so funny, and I know I complain about that pretty much all through our grazing season how they don't always want to cooperate. They want to move to the next pasture before it's time. And then you have a few that when you move them to the next pasture, don't move with everybody else. So I don't know. Um, they actually, the other day at lunch, I went through and back onto our creek bottoms and I shut the gate behind me, but I didn't latch it. I just pulled it shut. I was riding around checking and next thing I know, I turn around and they push the gate open and half of them are already out in the bottom. So they're always wanting to go to the next pasture no matter what. But where's your baby? Hey, mama, where's your baby? She's been a good mom just in the two days or whatever that we've seen her with this baby, but still like to put my eyes on them. Um, not just assume that she's got it stashed somewhere and all is well. We might ride around for a minute, then we got to hit the road. I tell you what, it's cool. Doing chores around the barn didn't didn't feel too bad at all, but uh, riding around, wish I had a little thicker glove on and 
Yeah, my face is getting cold too. It's just, this is a cool morning. Thank, we're supposed to warm up close to, I don't know, I'm afraid to say, into the 50s anyway later on today. Let's see if she's about to give away where the calf is. running this way and bawling. Come on, come find your baby so we can see it. Never did find the calf, but she's over there. I don't know, we'll check back on them later on. All was good last night. You know, I feel like it's pretty safe assumption to say she's got the calf bedded down somewhere, but we will check back again before the end of the day. Well, pulling in down here and all these heifers, Right up here at the gate. It's always the challenge in this pasture. See the fence there. The ones that stay on that side of the fence and just follow us don't get to the feed box. So hopefully they all come through the gate way there. We don't have to worry about that. But yeah, we're we're ready to be buying some more. We've got 33 head on this farm, but eight or ten, or between eight and ten should be bred. We'll preg check them here in, in a few weeks and then we'll move those bred ones home. Um, don't have any intention of selling these. I guess somebody came along and wanted to offer us one we could turn down, we might take it. But yeah, idea is we're going to keep the bred ones, move them home in with our um, existing cow herd. And that'll put us down in uh, the mid 20s or so. So we need to add some more calves, some more heifers to this bunch to run down here, you know, until fall. I don't know, it's, the market's been crazy good. Um, of course, we sold those steers um, a little over a week ago. I can't quite reveal how good they did because we still got the contest going on. You can go back to that video, guess what they averaged in terms of weight. Um, you're, well, by the time I get this video up, you're gonna have like two more days to get that in. Um, but anyway. Yeah, we, we couldn't hardly afford to keep the steers because the steers are worth so much more, which I know to some people that may not make sense. Like, but yes, yeah, so a 600-pound feeder steer versus a 600-pound feeder heifer, um, steers are going to bring more money, you know, maybe somewhere between 10 to 20 cents a pound, um, you know, and varying based on a lot of other factors. But if you're comparing apples to apples, black, solid black steers, solid black heifers, for instance, um, Obviously, if you've got some really fancy heifers that are clearly destined to be replacements, that'll change. But it's kind of why we decided to go heifer route this year. We can buy those five to 600 pound heifers a good bit cheaper than we can, you know, a, a steer of the same size. So we just got to um, figure out what we're going to do. We thought we had a few identified buying direct off of um, some other farms and still kind of looking at that route. Um, just kind of cut out the middleman a little bit of the sale barn. Not that we want to cut out the sale barn, but we can buy those calves off from one source. You know, we know, you know exactly what what vaccines and whatnot and all they've had. Just just a little, little nicer to do that. But anyway, I've avoided getting out in the cold. When I say out in the cold, it, the truck says it's 41 degrees. It ain't that bad. But we'll get them fed. We got the trailer, our feeder panels, which is kind of ironic because we've got. Just a few days left of feeding those steers finally came in. We got those 12 foot panels. We'll show them to you here in a bit to replace our 10 footers. And then we're gonna be able to finish and put some posts and all on the ground in our barn. It'll be ready to go for this fall whenever we put another set of steers on feed anyway. All right, ladies, y'all ready to eat some breakfast? So we got 30 right here. That means must have had three that weren't smart enough to come out of that other pasture. I can see, I can see at least one. We'll go up here and see if we can identify a couple more. And we will have everybody accounted for on this farm. Well, I see two of them. I don't see the third one though. Unless I miscounted, maybe we had 31 down there at the box. We're not gonna lose too much sleep over that though.
So you see we got those red panels. Those are 12 foot. They're, we're gonna replace these 10 footers. Of course, those are 10 foot feed bunks. Uh, so we'll have, we'll have a little bit of overlap, but that'll also allow, see where our corner here doesn't square up very good. You know, that'll push us another four feet this way. So that, that pin's gonna be on out here even. So we may adjust it and cheat a little that way on the inside. Um, we'll see, but not a project we're gonna tackle any further today. I ordered those panels like two or three months ago and they did call me about two weeks ago and said they were in, but I was like, good grief, you know, I was hoping to, and, and now, yeah, we're pretty much at the end of, of feeding for this winter, so, but we plan on doing this again every year, so we'll be a little more solid and set up. We're gonna get some wood posts set too once we got everything where it is going to be relatively permanent. But that'll be a little project, you know, good one for some rainy days and whatnot. When we're caught up on everything else or can't get anything else done, we can be working in there underneath the barn. In typical fashion, we've been running around doing a lot of off-farm stuff throughout the day today. Our horn cow that calved, you know, day and a half, two days ago, has moved out here into the bottom, about to join the rest of the herd. Still don't see the calves. This is gonna drive me insane. I'm gonna lose what little hair I still have left. Um, now that we've ridden down this way, here she comes. So I still have a strong assumption or feeling that she's got the calf stash somewhere and she'll go back to it, but I'd love to see the calf, number one. I, I would actually just settle for just confirming the calf is fine. But if we could get her and the calf moved with the other cows, we'll shut some gates. But at this point, I'm not going to be greedy. I'd just be happy to find the calf. So we'll keep looking. Well, I don't know what to think. Um, she followed us down here, but then just came to the cross fence. And so I thought, okay, he's, or I think it believes it's a heifer calf. She must be laying down over here somewhere. Can't find nothing. Um, looked in the creek, looked in every little gully and drain where maybe one could have fallen um because of course the situation of the calf for some reason died i mean i'd like to find it and confirm that but in reality what what i don't want is for that calf to just be somewhere like off in a hole or in a gully tangled up somewhere and uh where we could potentially you know rescue it and get it back with its mom She's making a move now. I don't know. I really don't know. But I thought once, I, once we got home and saw that she had moved up here with the other cows, like, okay, surely she brought the calf with her. Um, but I don't know. That, that's, that's pretty much all I can say is I don't know. All right, so we... Uh, I'm going to look a little longer, but I got to go pick up the kids. So y'all may have to tune in next time to see how this um, kind of saga ends. Uh, I hope so. She's a good cow, um, young cow. The other thing we look at, I don't, I can't tell that she's, it, sometimes it's hard to tell, but it does not look like she's been nursed recently. Um, can't say that she hasn't been nursed today, but I don't know. But anyway, um, I hate to end it like this, but it's getting late this afternoon. We'll probably come back and look again a little later on this evening. If we find him or find her, we'll let y'all know. But um, y'all keep checking back in with us again. AgGearStore.com, discount code HURRICANE, 15% off. Um, really good stuff. Nice to have this jacket thrown just because it's not that warm today, especially you get to riding around out here. Um, but yeah, appreciate y'all watching. Keep tuning back in with us. Y'all eat beef and God bless.